Are you telling me that no one's told you about the three bar play yet? <laughs> I'm so sorry. What have, I, what have I been doing all these years? I have so much price action and candles to teach every single one of you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because all I'm doing is providing the best free stock market education on planet Earth. Ready? Three bar play. Let's talk about it. I'm, I'm gonna pull it, whatever, what is this? IFF, International Fragrances, never heard of it. Three bar play, very simple. When you get three bull candles in a row, after the third bull candle, you're gonna look to look to go short and on a th after three strong bear days in a row you're going to look to go long and generally what you're doing is on the third day the third bear day you're going to start to take a position and you kind of scale in as it starts to drop and then when it pops above you get out for your profit and then vice versa predominantly i normally do the three down bar play because i'm more of a permable as most of you likely know so check this out uh, what, I don't know. What am I going to do? I'm going to go back to 2019. Let's do my birthday. May 2nd. Okay. IFF. It was on the, it was on my chart when I started this video. So that's what it's going to be. And I'm going to come over to here. And, and perfect. This is great. This is where it's like, Hey, this is probably not going to work because again, you got one, two, three, four, five bull candles in a row. Now, what I'm saying is I predominantly do the bull ones, right? So the bear candles after three bears in a row, I start to look to go long. That's my preference. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to immediately take a short after your three bull candles in this example, but it does mean that you can start planning for a short. You zoom in and go, okay, we've had three bars in a row and it works great, three, five, or eight. Fib numbers, three, five, or eight. So we have five, I would like to look to go short, meaning on a day trade or some type of position here, I'm going to be planning on a level of short, expecting a quick drop and then expecting a long. I mean, what would be amazing is three bars down, then you start to look to go long. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start to scale into a short. Let's do 25 shares, 25 shares short. And at close of the day, that's five full bars in a row. Next candle, we go a little bit higher. So this is six. Let me move this out the way so you can kind of see it. So there's your sixth bull candle. So right, three, five, or eight. And there was a bear day. So this is a down day. That's one. Inside candle. So the pressure's building. Boom. Strong drop and I'll flatten. All right, so that's one strong bear day in a row. All right, so three, five, or eight. That was five, I shorted at five, we're winning. Now, if I can get two more strong bear candles in a row, so three total, I'm gonna start to go long. So this is one, this is not one. Okay, three bulls in a row. No, that was a, this is not a bull candle, so that does not count. Although we are getting that little flag pattern. I'm just really trying to stick to the three bar play. Still waiting, okay, bear candle, nope. And what's crazy is it happens a lot less than you think. Okay, this is nice. Here's two strong bear candles. Will the next one be a strong bear candle? No. <laughs> no it won't. Okay, still no. Still no. Wow. And this, again, uh, I wouldn't call it a strong bull candle. I'm looking for three strong bull candles in a row. This is an inside candle, although it is a bull candle, it's just not very powerful. Same thing, but although for educational purposes, I mean, this is five bull candles in a row. They're just not strong. So I'm still gonna short it. Gonna short it there, look for a bear drop and then flatten. Profitable, I'm out. Okay, two trades in a row, following the same strategy, three, five and eight. This is a second bear bar in a row. Oh my gosh, still not a strong third one. Okay, IFF might not be the absolute best one for the strategy. I like this hammer, that's some good compression. I'm looking to go long. Oh yeah, come on. Nice hammer, good inside candle, really good compression here. I mean, I can still make money with other trades, but I'm just looking for the three bar. Uh oh, okay, two good ones, two good ones. Oh. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, 20 more seconds of this, and I'm gonna go look for something else. Okay, all right, two strong bull days, one more strong bull day, oh, okay. We're gonna go to another stock. Let's go look at, I don't know, 
AMD. AMD, and I will look at, let's not look at present day, because that's too easy. 2019, same thing, May 2nd, just different stock. And again, you can practice, you can spend back time back trading. What have I done so far? Five minutes doing the three bar play. All right, now I'm gonna go to uh, farthest chart that I can't see. So I know we have one more down day, but I don't know what happens after that. I'm gonna turn off my moving averages. And again, I'm looking to go long after three strong bear candles in a row. And again, it's a strategy that you're not holding forever. You're looking to just get in for your profit and move on. It's essentially a reversal to the mean type of, type of trade. And what's crazy is you can actually see how it worked right here. Three down candles in a row and you got a pop. Three bear candles in a row and you got a pop. Three bear candles in a row and you got a pop. Four bull candles in a row, you got the drop. I'm uh, sorry, three. One, two, three, this was a fourth. So you would have shorted there and you would still have made money because it went lower than your short. All right, bear candle, bear candle. So we know this one's it. All right, here we go. We're gonna start to leg into the long. Now when I say leg in, what does that mean? How do you determine the leg in price? How much? You, how do you determine how much to buy? With this particular strategy, it is a smaller, more aggressive style trading. You're not gonna have, you're not gonna wait for huge, huge momentum moves. You're just really playing scalps on the three, five or eight bar play. Uh, I'm going long, boom. So 25 shares, right? That's not a huge position by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, here's your fourth, profitable, we flatten. The three bar play, up or down. Pfft. Your boy's got so much candlesticks I wanna teach you. Do you wanna learn more about candles and volume? If you do, post in the comment section below. Please tell me how I can pour more value and enrichment into your life because that's what I'm here to do. And if you learned how to either back trade, the three bar play, or you learned how to practice using these push buttons to simulate using technology, your trading profits, hit me with a subscribe, hit me with a comment, hit me with that thumbs up, and I'll see you in another video.